better not show her face again. I'm actually hoping she will. I can't believe Serena came to this brunch. I told her to stay away. You worried about Nate? Just a shot in the dark. I think you know what you need to do to get his attention. And what's that? The key to my suite, Nate's heart, and your future happiness. I'm honored to be playing even a small role in your deflower. You're disgusting. Yes, I am, so why be shy? Just grab Nate and finish this. Report back with details. Field hockey throwdown. All those mouth guards and short skirts. I hope somebody filmed it. You're heinous. Which is probably why you called. You know me well. Women like to pretend they're complicated. I know better. Serena came home for a reason. One can only guess. I'm done guessing. I want answers. And no one likes to be on the ground floor of a scandal like Chuck Bass. I am a bitch when I want to be. Opportunity to cause some trouble? Uncover a secret? Say yes for an answer. Such a perv. I'm sure the CIA would hire you in a second. Defending my country. There's a future I never imagined. With good reason. What is she doing there? Well, what's anyone doing there? It's a facility for the disturbed or addicted. You must have your own wing. You don't get nearly enough credit for your wit. So the question is, what do you do now? Well, I was thinking total social destruction. And here I thought you were getting soft. So this is your bed, huh? Leaving now. You can repay me another time. How Midtown? A burlesque club. A respectable place where people can be transported to another time. Where they can feel free to let loose. No judgment. Pure escape. What happens if Victrola stays at Victrola? Well, it does have franchise potential. Chuck Bass. I do believe all your years of underage boozing and womanizing have finally paid off. <laughs> Truly. I am proud. And you are my toughest critic. Well, second toughest. So... You think your father will go for it? It is exactly the kind of innovative thinking upon which the Bass Empire was built. It is the perfect thing. I've been waiting for this. We are so late. Are you coming? Got a pitch at the bar. Victory party. Here, tomorrow. I wouldn't miss it. I'll send a car. Don't be nervous. He's gonna love it. You know, I got moves. Really? Then why don't you get up there? No. I'm just saying, I have moves. Come on, you're ten times hotter than any of those guys. I know what you're doing, Bass. You really don't think I'll go up there. I know you won't do it. Guard my drink.
This is the last place I'd expect to find you. Go away, Chuck. I've been given orders practically from God himself to avoid you. Would you consider avoiding me over breakfast? Sorry, but as is tradition, on the day before my birthday, I'm heading to the jewelers to put some pieces on hold for Eleanor and... Nate? Oh, I don't think I'll be singing happy birthday this year. No one knows that Nate and I broke up, and it's gonna stay that way so I can fix this. And I don't think your best friend would still be your best friend if he knew. If he knew how much I enjoyed the removal of a certain chastity belt in the back of this very limo. From this moment forward, the events of last night will never be mentioned again. Is that clear? Not as clear as the memory of you purring in my ear, which I have been replaying over and over. Well, erase the tape. Because as far as I'm concerned, it never happened. I'll see you at your party tonight. You're officially uninvited. Never stopped me before. Speak of the devil and he died. You ready for your present? Ow! If you wanted to play rough, all you had to do was ask. Taylor. Hi. Hello there. Happy birthday to me. You <sighs> nauseate me. All this talk about how you have to be with Nate or the world will end. Face it. It's over. You sound like a jealous boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, right. You wish. <laughs> no. You wish. Please, I forget who you're talking to. So do you. Do you like me? Define like. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. I do not believe this. How do you think I feel? I haven't slept. I feel sick, like there's something in my stomach. Fluttering. Butterflies? Oh, no, 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 This is not happening. Believe me, no one is more surprised or ashamed than I am. Chuck, you know that I adore all of God's creatures and the metaphors that they inspire, but those butterflies? got to be murdered. Fine. It wasn't that great anyway. Thanks. Stalk me much? What are you still doing up here all alone? I don't know where Nate is, and he always calls me at midnight when it turns into my birthday. Well, I wouldn't count on it tonight. Doesn't it strike you as uh, just a little bit of coincidence, the timing of everything? What do you mean? Well, Nate suddenly decides he wants to get back together just moments after your mother puts the brakes on her deal with the captain. So you're saying that Nate is only pretending to like me and that he's actually using me to get to my mother. He wouldn't do that. Yes, he would. If it was to help his family, you know he would. Nate loves me. Whatever he's doing, wherever he is, he will call at midnight. You'll see. Care to make a wager? If he calls, I'll leave you alone forever. If he doesn't, you will spend the night with Nate. I will not. I thought you were sure. You're gonna lose. He's never missed my birthday. Careful, B. There's no safe wager when you bet on a bass. You just might. I'm not in the mood, Chuck. It's pretty much the worst birthday ever. Maybe it could be salvaged. Is that our sex tape? It's the Erickson Beeman necklace. No, I couldn't. Yes, you can. Something this beautiful deserves to be seen on someone worthy of its beauty. I really am sorry. Is that what I am to you? Just an accessory? Next to him, yes. 
On me, you'd be so much more. Yes, but I can't be on you, remember? Because you don't want me to find out. I don't want anyone to. But you'd have to learn how to behave yourself first. Should ask you the same question. Perfect gentleman, perfect date. That broken record was a hit last year. Get with the times. He bores you. You almost made a fool of me in front of the New York Times, which proves my very point. You can't be trusted. Nate is a gentleman. He would never cause a scene. Never get your blood going either. Speaking of going, that's what you should do. Carter Basin is on his way here right now. What? What the hell are you doing with Carter Basin? He left his jacket here yesterday, and I'd rather you be gone when he got here. There's been enough scenes for today. Have you seen Nate? Nate was asked to leave, but here I am. I know that look. It's a look when your plan falls into place. You're enjoying this. You knew Carter was going to my house. You tipped off Gossip Girl. You ruined my cotillion on purpose. You did all this for your own enjoyment and didn't care what it would do to me. Which is exactly why you and I can never work. Hey, you slow down there, Walter. You make me sick. This thing between us, it's over. For good. Blair, wait, I didn't mean Don't to... talk to me. Blair! <laughs> 